So my beautiful people, I am back with another Elden Ring video. Now today guys, I showcase to you a proper unique dagger. I've barely seen any one cover. It's a poison rot dagger guys. A scarlet rot poison build up weapon called the Scorpion Stinger. Today I'll showcase you exactly how you get this thing. How's it going guys? My name's DPG and if you do enjoy the video, leave a like, it really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so I won't lie to you, daggers I don't really use, but I know there are tons and tons of people out there that definitely do. If I was going to use them, I'd definitely use them as a pair. Uh, I think they look absolutely brutal this way. But hey guys, each of their own, as you know. So the dagger itself, the Scorpion Stinger. Uh, scales with uh, strength and dexterity require 6 in that strength and 12 in that dexterity causes that scarlet rot build up pretty cool guys it's special attack is like a charge parry nothing fancy nothing too over the top as we do see I definitely feel this would be much much better in a pair it just depends what other what other uh, daggers you got to pair it with I'm currently using the glints uh, Glintstone Chris, which I do like. It's one of my favourite ones. If I was to use a dagger, it probably would be this one, just because of that Glintstone Pebble skill it has on it. Uh, if I switch these around, you'll see that. So let me just, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? There you are. Right there. Right there. There we go. So as you'll see. Boom. That's utterly brutal for staggering. And then I can just chop up at the same time, guys, as you know. As you know. But hi, hey, two new game plus, guys. Go and get two of these things. You can get a second one uh, for a Scarlet Rock build up. If you've got a build that, yeah, that you, you plan on doing or you have and you're looking for a dagger or this fits that kind of build you have in mind, hey, this one could be for you. Okay, so it is located down here, down within the Enso River. So it's a pretty mission to get to. It's literally located right at the very end here, too. Um, and I know many people may not have come down to this area yet. I know obviously the hardcore players will have. But for the people that haven't, the best way you can get down to here, there's two ways in which I think would be the easiest way for you. The one would be to do Rani's quest line that starts up here within Rani's Rise, the tower. And that's an early on quest line you can start. The only main problem with this one is you have to take out Loretta. We should take out Loretta located here and come to uh, Rani's uh, quest, well, Rani's Rise, start a quest line. And eventually, guys, you will have to use, I think it's one of these towers. Um, I've got a full guide, I'll link it down below. And you get teleported straight to where we're at right here, the Enzo River Main. Another way to get to the Enzo River Main, which I believe is the only way you can get down to here, is to, guys, use Nokron City. So you come through Nokron City, you actually get to Nokron City guys by defeating Radan. So you defeat Radan, one of the main bosses, everyone knows about him, you've probably killed him already. And then come to Fort Height West, make your way down to uh, Nokron City. I've actually made a video guide on this as well, this exact route what I uh, will suggest you to take. I'll link that down below. Um, it's 13 secrets and hidden paths. It's just check the timestamps, it will be there. So you come through knock on C, take out the mimic tier boss, you then come all this way, guys. You have to take out the gargoyle boss, twin gargoyles, who ain't easy, they ain't easy at all. Once you do that, there is a tomb at the end of the room. And um, you go through that tomb, guys, and you'll end up right up here. So great uh waterfall crest. Then guys, you come all the way around or all the way down and go through a tomb right here. That or is it right there? It's one of these two anyway, one of these two areas. And the tomb you get in, and you then, you guys, you will come to here. Literally there. And I'll start the actual process of making my way down to here, guys, which you'll see on screen now from this grace point. So, yes, follow this actual this route. I mean, you will get a lot of poison rot build up on you. Uh, so, I suggest you having uh, health potions ready to use if you've got nothing to alleviate that poison rot. Um, but there's nothing really you have to fight. I mean, once you get down to here, there's a few enemies on the floor here. You can't even pass like I do. Just run up and grab the chest and you're good. But yeah, follow the path that I take on screen. Now, I won't speed it up because it can be a little, if you're new to this area, it can be a little bit of a pain to follow. So yes, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Go get this dagger and hopefully people, I will see you on that next one.